join kids hat family Will you help me to do my homework, Tia? Tofu, it's dinner time and you haven't completed your homework yet. I hope you know that your teacher will be really angry. I will do it after this cartoon, Tia. But please help me so that I can finish it fast. You have been watching TV all day. You should get up and do your homework first. My hand has been hurting since morning. I'm giving it some rest. Also, dear sister, will you please get my bag and pencil box from the room? Excuses and more excuses. He should know his priorities right. Hmm. Did I forget it in school? What will I tell my teacher in school? You should be more responsible, Tofu. You are a big boy now. Anyway, complete the rest of your homework at least now and be more careful next time onwards. Tofu, let me tell you a story. In a land far away lived a hard-working and kind trader. Mostly he traded in salt. He also had a horse that was very lazy and always avoided work. The trader used him to carry sacks of salt from one town to the other. Here, let me load these sacks up and let's go to the town across the river to sell this salt. I am so tired today. Why do I have to work every day? I wish I could sleep throughout the day. But no, I have to carry these loads of salt and move. Come on, horse. Start walking. Cross that bridge. Until then, I'll pack some food for myself.
The horse was crossing the river. Suddenly, he slipped and fell into the water. As he was carrying sacks of salt on his back, the salt got wet and dissolved in the water. So when the horse got up, the sacks on his back were lighter. The horse thought to himself, Wow, this seems to be a good idea. Every time I dip in the river, the salt would dissolve and my burden could be less. I must try doing this more often. I hope Master is not watching. When the Master reached the town to sell the salt, it weighed just half of what he loaded. Thinking it might be his miscalculation, he sold whatever salt was left and returned home with his horse. The next morning, he again loaded his horse with the sacks of salt and started to pack his food. The horse yet again started walking before him and made it to the bridge. I must try the dipping trick again before master reaches here. The trader got really confused as the sacks started weighing lesser every time. The horse purposely started slipping into the water every day so that the sacks became lighter. One day, the trader followed the horse. and hid in the bushes. To his surprise, he noticed the horse's new trick. Oh, that's so cunning. I must teach this lazy horse a lesson soon. So the following day, instead of salt, the trader filled the sacks with cotton and tied him to the horse's back. Out of his new habit, the horse purposely fell into the river.
Oh no, no! What is happening today? What is going wrong? How are these sacks getting heavier? Oh, my back hurts! What? This time, as the sacks were filled with cotton, it soaked water and became heavier. The horse dipped again and again in water, thinking to drain the salt off somehow, but all went in vain. He somehow managed to get up and cross the bridge. He sat on the ground and panted as the sacks had gotten really, really heavy. The trader laughed at him and said, Horse, I am your master. This is your work. I work very hard and worship my work. I don't make excuses or find tricks to fool others and avoid work. I must teach you to never repeat this and avoid your work. The horse learned his lesson and never tried to avoid his work again. What a wise trader! Right Tofu? He taught the lazy horse a good lesson. Come, let me give you the big bitter medicine for your hand. But hey, I can see it's totally fine now. Maybe you have forgotten about the pain. Tia, I never had any pain. I just wanted to sit and watch cartoons. I was the lazy horse today. I am sorry, Tia. I am really worried about my teacher scolding me tomorrow. Here, take your books, Tofu. I also was the trader today. I just wanted you to learn a lesson. Now you should promise me that you will always do your work and yes, I will help you with your homework. Oh, thank you, Tia. Please, let's finish my homework quickly. I don't want to be lazy at all. I will always finish all my work before doing anything else. I promise you that. later tonight. Later tonight? It's not safe to go alone, Tofu. And I won't be going because I have an exam tomorrow. So you won't be able to go either. But Jack said it's safe. And Joe and Jim, everyone is going. Who told him? Some older boys. We don't know them. They were visiting from another city. That's not the correct way to do things, Tofu. You have to double check some things for yourself at times. And be careful with whom you trust. Do you know what happened to Chicken Little and his friends? What happened to them? Chicken Little Chicken Little liked to walk in the woods. One day, as she was walking in the forest and looking at the flowers and the trees, an acorn fell from a tree on the top of her head. Oh no! The sky is falling! 
I must run and tell the lion about it immediately. And so Chicken Little began running. On the way, she met the Henny Penny, the hen. Where are you running to? Is everything okay? Oh no, Henny Penny. The sky is falling and I'm going to the lion to tell him about it. How do you know that? It fell on my head and hit me. That's terrible. Come, I'll go with you too. We must hurry and tell the lion about this. Chicken Little and Henny Penny started running. As they were heading to the lions, they met Ducky Lucky. Wait guys, wait! Where are you going in such a hurry? The sky is falling. It fell on Chicken Little's head. We are going to the lion to tell him about it. Let me also come with you. Come, come! As the three of them were running, they met Foxy Loxy. Where are you guys going? The sky is falling. It fell on Chicken Little's head. And we've decided to go to tell the lion about it. Yes, yes. The lion must be told about this. But do you know where he lives? The fox had pointed out this problem correctly. None of them knew where the lion lived. I know where he lives. Come with me and I will show you the way. Happy to have found help, the three of them agreed. The fox took them to his own den and told them to wait at its entrance as he went inside. Wait here. Let me go talk to the lion first. When he is ready to meet you, he will call you all inside. After a while, Foxy Loxy called from inside. Come in, friends. Chicken Little, Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky went inside but never came out again. So you see Tofu, you should always exercise caution before you go following things blindly. Yes dear, now I have understood the importance of trusting the right people and not believing things blindly. Tonight I am going to stay home and will tell my friends to do the same too. Cookies are so yum. I can eat them forever. Tofu, have you ever imagined what if these cookies become alive? Alive? Hmm, this reminds me of a story. The Gingerbread Man Long ago, there lived an old couple. One day, the old woman cooked a gingerbread cookie in the shape of a man. As soon as the gingerbread man was cooked, He jumped out of the tin and ran out of the open window, shouting, Don't eat me! He ran away as fast as he could. The old couple tried to chase the gingerbread man, but he was too fast for them. Soon, a hungry pig saw the gingerbread man and said, Stop! I would like to eat you! He too joined the chase. 
The gingerbread man was too fast and said, "You can't catch me. I am the gingerbread man." A little further, a hungry cow saw the gingerbread man and said, "Stop! I would like to eat you." She too joined the chase. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Next, he met a horse. The horse too joined the chase. Finally, the gingerbread man came to a river. and stopped as the river could make him soggy a clever fox came by and wanted to eat him up but he pretended to be nice and offered help to the gingerbread man he asked the gingerbread man to climb on his head so that he could take him across the river The gingerbread man was so scared of water that he agreed. As soon as they reached the other side, the fox tossed up the gingerbread man in the air. He opened his mouth and ate him up. That was the end of the gingerbread man. <laughs> I don't want my cookies alive and get eaten by a wolf. Ha 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 ha. Enjoy your cookies, Tofu. We have come too far from our camp. When will we go back? I am feeling hungry. It will take some time, Tofu. Those berries look yum. I think I can treat on them for the time being. Tofu, stop! Do you even know what those berries are about? They look yum to me. That is all I know. But they can be poisonous. You are in the middle of a jungle. Poisonous? Come, let me tell you a story on our way back to the camp. On a long sunny day, there was a fox walking in a desert. hungry and thirsty all that he could see was miles of sand and barren rocks oh it is so hot i need water badly he kept on walking and suddenly he saw a well thank god I finally found a well. Now I will no longer be thirsty. He ran and ran in great excitement. The moment he leaped on the well's wall to check water, he lost his balance and fell in the well. Help! Help! Somebody, please help me! This well is really deep. How would I ever get out of this place? Nearby, a goat was passing the well. When she heard the fox, she went to peep over the well. Hey fox! What are you doing inside this well? Oh goat, 
Isn't it too hot outside? I just came into this well to cool myself off. Why don't you also hop in and enjoy this cool and refreshing water? Not even thinking for a second, the goat jumped into the well. Hey Fox! You were right! This water is actually very refreshing. I could spend all my day out here. After some time, the goat stops and asks the fox, Wait a second! How in the world will we manage to get out of this well? Oh, it's going to be simple. If you stand on your two feet and push me up, I can manage to reach to the top of the well and then pop out of the well. The goat, once again, without thinking twice, does as the fox said. Hey fox! What about me? How would I get out? Ha 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 ha! I guess you have to think about it on your own. B but I helped you getting out of the well. Who asked you to? You should have thought about the consequences before taking any actions. So one should look before one leaps. Yeah, Tofu, always. Because you never know what danger you might get into. And those wild berries, they might have been harmful for you. Uh, yeah, dear. One should always check before taking a step further. Look, there is our camp and I can already smell the dinner is ready. Yay! Let's go! Steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. What happened, Tofu? What is it that you are thinking? Yes, dear. I am not able to understand how can a person win the race if he is slow and yet steady? There is a very famous story behind this. Should I tell you that first? Sure. The Hare and the Tortoise Long ago, in a forest, a small get-together of animals was taking place. You know what? I can beat anyone in this forest. Nobody can beat me in a race. Yes, I have seen him running. I bet he can beat anyone in this forest. Suddenly, from the crowd, they hear somebody laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You think you can beat me in a race? I may not disagree with you, oh Mr. Hare. But I might not deny that I have no fear of competing with you. Oh, Rio, 
finale. So let's have a race and let's see who wins. So one fine sunny day, all the animals gathered for the race. Everybody was sure that the hare is going to be a clear cut winner. said the hare proudly. <laughs> now let's go old man, I'll beat you in a second. The hare runs so fast that all the things on the path go for a spin. <laughs> on the other hand, the tortoise is running too, but at such a pace that even snails could pass by him easily. <laughs> Suddenly, the hare stops and looks behind. Oh my lord! That tortoise is gonna take ages to reach this point. So let's just stop here and take some rest. By the time he reaches here, I would get good rest and then cover him up in a blink of a second. In the meanwhile, the tortoise slowly and steadily reaches the point where the hare is fast asleep. He very quietly tiptoes past the hare and the hare is all ignorant of this fact. Suddenly, the hare gets up by the rows of the crowd, cheering up the tortoise. Go tortoise, go! Go tortoise! Lord, how is that possible? I kept on sleeping for so long that the tortoise is about to finish the race. He runs and runs and runs. But to his disappointment, the tortoise just manages to finish the race before he could. In the story, the hare was so full of himself. He was overconfident that he would surely beat the tortoise in the race. Because he is faster than that poor being in every other way. But, but the hare underestimated the tortoise and succumbed in his own fake overconfidence. Yes, and that's why only a person who thinks calmly and is not overconfident of himself wins the race in every sphere of life. 
proud people can't survive for long. Hmm. For your favorite rhymes, stories, and more, join Kids Heart Family. Subscribe here.